it's the time to discuss mesh filter receiver in connection with radar maximizing the output peak snr of a radar receiver maximizes the detectability of a target a linear network that does this is called a mesh filter frequency response of mesh filter can be written as hf equal to ga s star f exponential minus j 2 pi f t1 where sf is the integration over the entire time st exponential minus j 2 pi f t dt that is the spectrum of the input signal Fourier transform this is basically a Fourier transform a star f is the complex conjugate of sf t1 is the fixed value of time at which signal is observed to be maximum and ga is the constant equal to maximum filter gain we can take it as unity as well impulse response of the mass filter ht equal to integration hf exponential j 2 pi ftt 2 pi ft df that is ga integration a star f exponential minus j 2 pi f t1 minus t df now since a star f equal to s minus f we now have ht equal to ga integration sf exponential j 2 pi f t1 minus t df that means it is equal to g a s t1 minus t so if s t is this this is the input signal time limited then h t will be as you can see s t1 minus t so h t will be just this one it is the mirror image mirror image of this original input signal mirror image about y axis and translated by certain amount of time thus the impulse response of a mass filter is the time inverse of the received signal it is the received signal reversed in time starting from the fixed time t1 the mass filter is implemented in if stage thus the maximum SNR occurs at the output of the IF. The second detector and the video portion of the receiver have negligible effect on the output SNR if the video bandwidth is greater than one half of IF bandwidth. Derivation of frequency response of mass filter that we are now going to understand. The magnitude of the output voltage of the filter with frequency response function hf is s 0 t mod equal to mod of sf integration sf hf exponential j 2 pi f t df where sf is the Fourier transform of the received input signal the mean output noise power at the output receiver output can be written as n equal to n 0 by 2 integration hf square mod hf square df where n 0 is the noise power power bandwidth here we are assumed that uh, noise to be a white Gaussian type. Now at time t equal to t1, the ratio Rf that we wish to maximize can be written as s 0 t square max divided by n. So that can be written as integration magnitude of integration sf hf exponential j 2 pi ft1 df whole square divided by n0 by 2 integration hf square df now we apply Schwartz inequality in the numerator and we will get rf which is less than equal to now according to Schwartz inequality integration hf square df integration sf square df divided by n0 by 2 integration hf square df now this hf square integration and this one they are equal and they are non-zero right 
so we can cancel these two and you get integration sf square df divided by n0 by 2 now according to Parsifal's theorem integration sf square df is nothing but st square dt which is the signal energy e so rf equal to rf is less than equal to 2e by n0 so it states that the output peak signal to mean noise ratio from a matched filter depends only on total on the total energy of the received signal and the noise power per unit bandwidth it does not depend explicitly on the shape of the signal it, its duration or bandwidth hence these characteristics of the signal can be used to achieve radar capabilities other than signal capability uh, detectability the frequency response function which maximizes the peak signal to mean noise ratio rf is obtained by noting that the equality sign of the Schwartz inequality holds when the two functions p and q involved in the inequality are related by p equal to k into q where k is a constant actually it should be p equal to k into q star star is the uh, complex conjugate but for real function we can write it in this way so hf equal to g a star f exponential minus j 2 pi f t 1 where k equal to 1 by g a the output of the filter is the convolution of the input y in equal to st plus nt and the filter's impulse response ht where st is the input signal and nt is the input noise so it can be written as y0 t equal to integration y n lambda ht minus lambda d lambda so we know that for mass filter ht equal to s minus t assuming g a equal to 1 and t1 equal to 0 in that case ht minus lambda equal to s minus t plus lambda and y0 becomes integration y n lambda s lambda minus t d lambda it is actually the cross correlation between the received signal y in and the transmitted signal st since the output of the mass filter is the cross correlation function of the received signal and the transmitted signal it is possible to implement the mass filter as a correlation process where the input signal y in is multiplied by a delayed replica of the transmitted signal s t minus t r now try to understand the summary frequency response function of the mass filter can be written as h f equal to g a star f exponential minus j 2 pi f t 1 maximum output snr is 2 e by n0 where e is the signal energy magnitude of frequency response hf mod of hf equal to mod of sf phase of frequency response phi mf equal to minus phi sf impulse response is s minus t output signal waveform for large snr is the autocorrelation function of st So let us stop right here because uh, you have already studied this uh, mass filter in connection with digital communication. So we have just a small recapitulation in connection with radar. Thank you very much.